Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Paddle Master VR. Paddle Master VR is a game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift that was developed by Raging Pygmy Goat Games. It normally retails for $3.99. It's currently on sale for $0.99. Cents. I got a free Steam key from the Steam Creator Connect program. This game originally released on November 18th, 2017, and it's had a few updates since then. Probably the most important update is that they added Oculus Rift support. And it does work fine, however, keep in mind you do need a room scale setup. I don't believe if you only have a standing room setup, you'll be able to play this game, at least not play it very effectively. Uh, for myself, actually, I do have a room scale setup, but for whatever reason, this game set up uh, on one edge of my room scale setup. So I had to walk towards it, and then it limited the amount of space I had to play it. So it made playing it less than ideal because I couldn't recenter my space to be right in the center of my play space. So I couldn't always reach out the way I wanted to with my paddle. Now, uh, this game looks like a breakout or Ar Arkanoid type game, and it is sort of, but not really. Uh, what re really sets it apart is the numbers on the cube. Now, the harder you hit it, the harder you hit the ball with your racket, uh, the, you'll be able to uh, break those uh, cubes a lot easier. So if you hit it really hard and you hit like a five or a six or whatever, uh, you can probably get it down in one swing. Also, the more it bounces, uh, the more likely it is to explode. It, after a certain amount of bounces, it will explode and then it'll take out several bricks with it. So there's two strategies. One is to hit it really hard towards a brick uh, to really bring it down in number or to break it out. Uh, if you don't hit it hard, for example, you only do one uh, damage to it. So you only break, break a, a brick with only one number on it. Whereas you hit it harder, you can get those higher numbers. Now, after every 10 levels, that changes. You'll have more balls to play with. So you can have multiple balls in the playing field. And you'll have more energy when you swing. So when you're doing your returns, uh, you'll have higher numbers that you can use to break down the block. Obviously, the difficulty with hitting the ball uh, with a lot of force is that it'll come back at a high velocity. So it'll be harder to return. Um, as far as variety, there's some power-ups. The only the power-up that's there is to get more ammo. So that's basically the only power-up. There is no other strategy other than the numbers get bigger on the cube. Uh, you'll have more balls uh, in the playing field, and I believe, although I didn't I didn't see this personally, I believe your your play space in increases or the area with the cubes uh, gets closer as far as steps wise. So all of this increases difficulty, makes it uh, more difficult to climb those leaderboards. Uh, I believe the highest I got was level 25. I didn't get farther than that. I played this game for over an hour, and while I did enjoy some of the gameplay, for the most part, though, I, I, I did not really enjoy this game a whole lot. Uh, I just felt the ball physics just didn't feel correct to me. Um, you can generally guide the ball to where you want to, but it's, I just found it very difficult. And sometimes it just went in directions that were unexpected. I think the two reasons for that is just the table tennis paddle that you have, which is not ideal for this type of uh, uh, play. And the ball being really small and the play space just being very weird as far as where the ball can go. Um, sometimes you will swing and you'll see the ball bounce back there for a long while before it comes back to you. Um, the most balls that I had in play at any point were two. I don't know. It, I thought it was supposed to go up to three once I get pa past level 20, but that never happened. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, so the ball physics didn't feel right and also saw a little bit of lag. So for whatever reason, for whatever reason, uh, at certain points, the ball just kind of lagged, or my swings lagged, and I'm not sure exactly why. I don't know. I normally don't experience it on my setup, so it must be the game, but it, I thought it was weird. Um, it did make the game feel a little janky. Um, the UI is not the best. Now, you do have options as far as the music. You can either change the music or you can turn it completely off or change the volume. 
And in this gameplay, I did choose to turn the music completely off, mostly because I didn't want to get a copyright claim for the music. So at the end of the day, I think whether you like this game or not will de depend on whether you like this type of this style of gameplay. Uh, you might find it fun because it is quite challenging. However, for me, there just wasn't enough variety and the physics just didn't feel right. So I really did not enjoy it, uh, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, a neutral recommendation. I think some people might be able to or would enjoy this type of gameplay. I myself uh, did not enjoy it that much. Uh, it's definitely not in the league of other games of this type for VR, such as you know Hollow Ball or Racket and X. Those are the top tier games, and this game is nowhere near that. However, it's also not in that price range. It's only 99 cents. So with that in mind, I'm going to give it a neutral recommendation. And I think some people might enjoy it. Myself, however, I did not really like it. So this is just a game that I will uninstall and never play again. I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.